Hello guys and welcome to the channel. So till now what we have done is that we have set up the Elasticsearch and Kibana. Uh, we have also installed the Fluentd. We have written a Python which is generating logs and pushing all the data to the Elasticsearch and the Kibana. We have also seen our data on our Kibana portal. So now what next thing which we have to do is that we'll, uh, we'll try to make the dashboard for uh, the Kibana uh, to visualize our data. So for this what I have done is that I have edited few things in the python code which I have written which uh, I was using. So let me just show you the python code first. So basically uh, oops. So basically what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, display few temperature values now because I do not have any temperature uh, sensor kind of a thing so I've, I'm, I'm just using this random uh, values between the 60 to 70 so this is generating random values between 60 and 70 and then I am simply putting these random values inside uh, our log JSON as a temperature so this is this is just a uh, few changes which I have done now let me just uh, start this code uh, let me show you the log file also okay so as you can see here also uh, we have the same count value which we were using in the last video and we have just added this temperature value which is basically a, a random values between uh, 60 and 70 so that is all uh, now let's uh, our, uh, our service is running uh, our TD agent service is still running and it is pushing all the data to our Kibana now let's go to Kibana to check our data so uh, as you can see here okay so as you can see here it is showing all the data um, yes so here in the JSON file we have the temperature values now what we are going to do is we are going to create a dashboard for this temperature value so that we can uh, I mean see the temperature values so for that before creating it the dashboard we need to create a visualization so let's go to visualize create visualization now there are many options available you can use area heat map um, line or a pie chart but we are going to use this gauge uh, as our visualization so click this gauge select which index you want to use so we want to go with this uh, index and okay so it has automatically picked up our count variable but we don't need to use that we'll use uh, so in this aggregation select the top hit and in the field option select the field which you want to use so we are going to use the temperature um, okay uh, aggregate with the max values and simply apply changes there are many other options available like uh, you can use this you can include this percentage mode so it will show a percent uh, you can if you want to use circle you can use circle like this but we'll go with the arc version display warnings uh, you can also set ranges uh, so at present we are using the default ranges from 0 to 50 50 to 75 and 75 to 100 so this is how a visualization is created there are many options available uh, it just depends on your how what kind of data you are pushing so now let's save this uh, visualization in the name of temperature and click save so this is saved now once this is saved just go to the dashboard click add and select your visualization and here we go here is our data you can as per your condition you can maximize or minimize it so in this way you can create any kind of dashboard or any visualization there are many options available you just need to uh, identify and filter which kind of visualization you have uh, I mean in your uh, in your log so you can select area if you are going with the area 
or if you have any like latitudes or longitudes you can also select this coordinate map you can there are many options available here you just need to think about your data so in this way we can create the dashboard for our elastic data so this was all about how you can uh, create a visualization a dashboard for your logs so that you don't need to you don't need to search for any anything inside the log file you can simply see all your log data here on the dashboard so thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe and comment if you have any questions regarding this